Next month marks a century since Sir Douglas Mawson made his famous trip to Antarctica. But as preparations are made to celebrate his achievements, tributes are flowing in for the man who made it happen. South Australian businessman Robert Barr Smith helped to bankroll Mawson's journey with funding equivalent to many millions of today's dollars. Karen Barlow reports. As it is today, travelling to Antarctica 100 years ago was not cheap. Very expensive exercise. You had to buy a boat, you had to get the dogs, you had to buy all the food, all the supplies, all the camps, all the tents. You had to pay the men. In 1910, Adelaide geologist Douglas Mawson planned to chart vast swathes of Antarctic coastline in the name of Australia and science. It was well over £60,000 and when he came back he was in serious debt. Despite being a hero, he still had to pay a lot of money back. Adelaide Connections took Mawson to the richest man in South Australia, businessman and legendary philanthropist Robert Barr Smith. He, he used to receive a lot of begging mail, so a lot of people would approach him. And my understanding is, is that uh, Mawson approached him as well. James Forbes is Robert Barr Smith's great-great-grandson. He's only recently found the Mawson connection to his forefather, who was one of the co-founders of the company Elders. Initially, I understand that he wasn't forthcoming, so it, it, it happened on the second round, which always says that persistence is, uh, often pays off. Funding also came from state and federal governments and through public subscription. £100 came from Dame Nellie Melba. But the money Robert Barr Smith gave to Mawson must have been considerable. Mawson named a mountain after him, uh, Mount Barr Smith, and uh, uh, I guess that wouldn't have happened unless there was a very clear connection um, and that the contribution was substantial. Well, how many people can say they've got a mountain in Antarctica named after them? No, I don't think so. Or anywhere. Centenary commemorations of the Mawson expedition will be held in Antarctica in early January. Karen Barlow, ABC News.